once per week I take an alone night out to enjoy some simple solitude. This week, while reading a book at the local coffee shop, I called my husband to check in, to remind him to load the dishwasher, give our daughter her vitamins, and to make sure she had a bath. You know, the important things. We talked for a moment and then said goodbye, and I settled back into my book. But after a minute, I heard a voice from my phone. I picked it up and realized that neither of us had actually hung up. What I heard was awesome. He was busy pretending, giggling, and laughing with our five-year-old. I listened, I smiled, I laughed out loud. Forget solitude. I couldn't break myself away from the beauty of this moment. A father playing wholeheartedly, undistracted with his child. I felt a rush of thankfulness, so grateful that my daughter has an amazing father. When I got home that night, the dishes were still on the counter. The vitamins had not been given. Our daughter went to bed without a bath. But I found my husband fast asleep, snuggling his baby girl. I did the dishes, and I was thankful. To those fathers who are rising to the incredible challenge of relating with your kids, of engaging with them, of looking them in the eyes with love, your kids are blessed. Thank you. And happy Father's Day.